Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha yoga teacher. So today in this video, we are going to talk about capsicum or bell pepper. We all know what is capsicum and how delicious it is and it has been used as salad, in pizzas, in as vegetable, as um, raw salad, as cooked vegetable, flavoring ingredient and wherever we put bell pepper or capsicum, it just enhances its flavor. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. We all know capsicum has tremendous benefits and there are three colored capsicums we see in market that is red, yellow and green. Green capsicum is the most common and there is uh, reddish capsicum and uh, orange capsicum sometimes and yellow capsicum. So all these capsicums are powerhouse or vitamins and minerals especially vitamin B12. There is very good vitamin B12 in capsicum. Capsicum is a very good immunity booster. It is very very beneficial for your immunity and it is also because according to Ayurveda it is on the hot side of potency like it is on the uh, hotter uh, side that is it has pungent taste uh, that means it is more of kapha pacifying side it pacifies kapha and it aggravates vata and pitta dosha that's why excess of capsicum we should not eat that it, that's why whenever we use capsicum we use little bit not excess of capsicum or and whenever we make some vegetable of capsicum even in traditional india we use we cook it with potato or some other vegetable either cheese potato paneer like something but not only capsicum because this bell pepper has very pungent uh, kind of taste and uh, it is more of pitta aggravating if you eat in excess it can cause burning sensation in the stomach uh, for those who have more of uh, pitta high pitta body type who have more of pitta body type and also those people who have excess of acidity issues ulcer issues to them also if they eat excess of capsicum they it can cause more of pain little bit and gastric discomfort. So it's been recommended whenever you are using a capsicum don't eat it in excess but little bit capsicum you should all use because it's very very beneficial for health. Can diabetic people eat capsicum? Yes, diabetic people can eat capsicum, uh, renal people can eat capsicum, any kind of uh, systemic disorder people can eat capsicum. It's very, very healthy, but you should eat in moderate quantities, not in excess or overeating of capsicum because it becomes very difficult to digest when you, when we overeat capsicum, but in moderate quantities you can eat capsicum because it's very very beneficial for even cardiac patients it helps in lowering down your cholesterol levels and uh, low density, density lipids so it's very beneficial in a way uh, for overall health as you know capsicum is being used as a raw salad in many dishes but in ayurveda it's been said capsicum should not be used raw and it should be always used cooked uh, because according to Ayurveda, though it contains a lot of fiber, but in Ayurveda, there is a recommendation that all the vegetables that we are eating, they should be in cooked form so that they will get digested very easily and they are light for the stomach. Now the question comes whenever you go to market how to choose capsicum, which capsicum is good for health, which capsicum we should choose. So. When you go to Indian market, it's also an art to choose capsicum. It's not, and same art you can apply in supermarkets also. If you have your own capsicum, homegrown capsicum, then to definitely it's the best capsicum. But if you're going to market, then how to choose between so many varieties of capsicum? So there is a very small trick before choosing capsicum. When you see capsicum, some capsicums at, at the bottom has three lobes and some capsicum at the bottom has four lobes. Now the capsicum which has four lobes at the bottom, these capsicums are more on the sweeter 
uh, taste that means they are not too much pitta aggravating and these capsicum contains a lot of seed which are very pitta aggra aggravating that is why there is a recommendation whenever you are using capsicum remove these seeds while cooking vegetable or even cooking salad or you using it as a flavor but remove those seeds because these uh, seeds are very hot in potency and they aggravate pitta and especially if you have ulcer if you have gastric issues or if you have some stomach lining disturbance some erosion uh, any kind of issue then you should not use these seeds and in general also you should remove the seeds of capsicum because they are very hot in potency and they aggravate the heat in the system so this kind of capsicum which has four lobes that you should use because the outer cover of capsicum in this kind of capsicum is more on the sweeter side that means it will not aggravate pitta that much but the capsicum that has only three lobes uh, it also has seeds its seeds also you should remove but this kind of capsicum is more on the bitter side and it doesn't taste very uh, nice and those of you if you have any ulcer issues or uh, acidity issues this three lobe capsicum can enhance acidity to more as compared to four lobe capsicum and it is not very tasty too so when you are going to market choose for four lobes capsicum because that is more beneficial uh, from health point of view and taste point of view but if you are using uh, capsicum as a salad if you have very good digestive fire and you don't mind eating capsicum salads or just little bit uh, shallow cooked capsicum because in many European countries capsicum is also used as a salad so which capsicum you should use the capsicum with four lobes you should use because such kind of capsicum can be easily eaten raw as compared to the capsicum that has three lobes because it is more on the bitter side it tastes more on the bitter way but this four uh, the capsicum which has four lobes on the base this capsicum tastes more sweet especially red and yellow capsicum this capsicum is more on the sweeter side so you can use this capsicum if you are using for some salad dressing or as a salad little bit but don't use in excess because it can aggravate your acidity or stomach uh, gastric issues if you have low digestive fire or any kind of gastric problems while uh, buying uh, this capsicum from the market make sure there should not be any yellow spot on green capsicum if there is yellow spot that means it is no good for use so make sure if you are using some green capsicum and it has yellow spot that means it has uh, this capsicum has been destroyed and it is uh, unusable in addition to that also you need to take care while buying capsicum the stem of the capsicum it should not be broken it should be well formed green and it should not be broken because it's broken maybe there is a possibility that some insects have entered it and uh, spoiled it from inside so while buying capsicum it's very important the capsicum should be well intact on its top so what kind of capsicum cooking is okay capsicum can be yellow capsicum can be orange capsicum can be red or green all kind of capsicums are good it's better you buy those capsicum which has four lobes at the base because it has uh, more on the sweeter side in taste but make sure to remove seeds in all capsicums because they are very hot in potency not only this capsicum is also very beneficial in losing weight because it is very hot in potency capsicum also is a very good source of vitamin b6 so if you have any uh, stomach issues or skin issues for them also uh, capsicum is very healthy those of you who have mucus problems or chest issues or respiratory infections or sinusitis for them also capsicum is very very beneficial because it is very much kapha pacifying uh, vegetable so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there is a subscription button please click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos 
If you have any questions, please write down those questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. Those of you who want to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click this join button and you can support us. If you want Ayurveda consultation online, there is an email ID given on the screen. You can write a mail to me so that we can schedule a consultation for you. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed. Take care. Bye.